Test your English. Quiz 3. How good are your English skills? This test checks your listening, reading, grammar, and vocabulary. All you have to do is fill in the blanks with the best answer. Ready to begin? Get out a piece of paper and number it from 1 to 20. In a moment, you will hear a passage written in English. Then you will see the text of that passage. It has been divided up into sentences. Every seventh word has been deleted from the text. Your task is to fill in the blanks with the missing words. Only one word per blank. Good luck. Listen as I read the passage. Moon goes blood red this weekend. Eclipse for the Americas. A total lunar eclipse will grace the night skies this weekend, providing longer than usual thrills for stargazers across North and South America. The celestial action unfolds Sunday night into early Monday morning, with the moon bathed in the reflected red and orange hues of Earth's sunsets and sunrises for about one and a half hours, one of the longest totalities of the decade. It will be the first so-called blood moon in a year. Observers in the eastern half of North America and all of Central and South America will have prime seats for the whole show, weather permitting. Partial stages of the eclipse will be visible across Africa, Europe, and the Middle East. Left out, Alaska, Asia, and Australia. This is really an eclipse for the Americas, said NASA's Noah Petro, a planetary geologist who specializes in the moon. It's going to be a treat. First three blanks, you'll have 15 seconds. Moon goes blood red this weekend. Eclipse for the Americas. Write your answers on your paper. Ready? Begin. Next few blanks. 35 seconds. Next few blanks, 35 seconds. Last three blanks, 15 seconds. Here is the whole passage. You have one minute to review and revise your answers.
Here are the answers. Moon goes blood red this weekend. Eclipse for the Americas. Title. A total lunar eclipse will grace the night skies this weekend, providing longer than usual thrills for stargazers across North and South America. If you have a perfect answer, you will get two points. If you have an acceptable answer, you will get one point. Next few blanks. The celestial action unfolds Sunday night into early Monday morning, with the moon bathed in the reflected red and orange hues of Earth's sunsets and sunrises. Next few blanks. For about one and a half hours, one of the longest totalities of the decade, it will be the first so called blood moon in a year. Next few blanks. Observers in the eastern half of North America and all of Central and South America will have prime seats for the whole show, weather permitting. Partial stages of the eclipse will be visible across Africa, Europe, and the Middle East. Left out, Alaska, Asia, and Australia. Last three blanks. This is really an eclipse for the Americas said NASA's Noah Petro, a planetary geologist who specializes in the moon. It's going to be a treat. Here is the complete passage for you to look at. The source of this material is Voice of America. Here is the link to the excerpt. How did you do on the test? Here are what your score results mean. If you got 40 points, that's a perfect score. Wow! That's nearly impossible. 36 to 39, excellent. Great, you're top notch. 28 to 35, very good. Your English skills are quite high. 20 to 27, good. Not bad, keep trying to improve. Hope that was helpful. If you like this, please give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. If you have ideas for our next video, please let us know at the link below. Please check out our websites for more information. ESLGold.com and FreeEnglishStudy.com